Welcome to Learning by Short Shot Bites of Information you get to apply immediately. We're looking at training effectiveness and the topic I'd like to cover off this week is around induction. Now when we talk about induction, very often it's a term referred to when we bring a new team member on board and we want to onboard them into our organization. We want to introduce them to all the practices that happen. Induction can be useful when we promote somebody up into a new role or a new department. But I'll look at this from the aspect where most people use it. You have a new person join your team. Many businesses have discovered the value of having a induction process that just methodically covers off. Have we got all the right paperwork we need for this new person to join our team? Showing them the amenities, introducing them to the team members, ideally sharing the vision and the mission and the values with them of the organization, telling them why they've been employed and why they're part of the team and what results we're hoping to get from them and how those results will be measured and fed back to them. These are all key parts of the induction process. And what that does is it helps somebody feel a part of the team. But there's a lot more to inducting somebody. They've got to learn our systems. They've got to learn our processes. They sometimes have to learn some skill sets because we, as a business, there'll be nuances that you will have that they'll need to adapt what they know into what you do. This is where a really thorough induction process can make the world of difference. Please, I strongly encourage you not to try and squish induction into two days or a week because people just have information overload. You know, it's like meet so and so and so and so and so. This is where this is, this is where this is. This is how you log in over here. This is what you do over here. This is where you click over there. It's just too much. And oftentimes people just dump, you know, here's the health and safety manual. Read this and sign there so we can tick our little box to say that you're on boarded. While we need to do those sorts of things, it's very important to understand that we want this team member to feel like they're going to be a valuable contributing member to the team. We want them to be upskilled and contributing the skills that we've employed them for as quickly as possible. And we want this to happen for the long haul. And that means that we need to be having a plan in place where we show them and train them on the key processes, on the systems. My encouragement for you is to look at doing an induction process over three to six to 12 months, depending on the level of seniority and complexity of a role that you have for somebody. Three months typically would be the shortest induction period I would recommend. And this needs to involve a whole lot of aspects. If you want somebody to feel a part of the team and start contributing as quickly as possible because they realize that the team needs them and that they're a part of something bigger, there are a couple of key things you can do. Show them what's required in their role very clearly. How will they be measured? What feedback will they get to let them know that they're on track or off track? In training, this is a very important thing in helping people to be effective, that the speed of your feedback loop will be the speed of your success. Also ensure that they have a buddy alongside them, and that buddy needs to be somebody that they can get along with. Do a personality profile, make sure they're not gonna clash. Make sure it's somebody they can actually connect with. Somebody that they feel safe to go and say, uh, say, how do I do this again? Or what actually did they mean when they said that? Or I seem to have missed the local joke, you know, uh, you know is this a safe coffee cup for me to be using? You know, little things like that, that make a difference. It helps somebody to feel part of a team. Also have somebody, a program where they can tick off and go, I have learned this skill, I have learned that skill, I can now feel capable and competent. And this is where a skills matrix is so valuable to an organization. So how to be effective with your training internally? Have a good onboarding system when you induct people. Give them a buddy. Have clear success criteria with a very quick feedback loop. Have a good buddy alongside somebody and make success something that is measurable, attainable, and something that that person can drive themselves and check off on a skills matrix. If you need any help with any of those, do get in touch and we look forward to hearing your success stories. Here's to your success. If any of this resonated with you and you'd like some help with it, do feel free to get in touch. Drop me an email at mike at thinkright.co.nz or 0272 987 523 or our website www.thinkright.co.nz. 